an area of high pressure moving in. I know what you're thinking. Well, Dick, I thought high pressure brings us nice weather, and it does, and it will over the weekend, I promise you that. But when you have the vast difference in pressure between those two systems, you get the isobars. Those are lines of equal pressure that come very close to one another, and you end up in a wind tunnel effect. So our damaging wind chances right now, we got us up to about 15%. So strong winds gusting 55 to 60 miles an hour. I think that is possible with any strong to severe thunderstorm worn storm that comes through your area. Less of a chance out here because these storms are essentially just firing up right along the front, basically right overhead. First, I think it's important to realize that the storm is going to come in two different waves. One is an overrunning event. Thanks to the cold air supplied by high pressure, you got this initial round of precipitation approaching, likely snow for the entire state, some minor accumulations with that. But then the parent low that's positioned probably at that time over the Ohio Valley, that's going to transfer its energy to a coastal entity, a coastal storm. Two o'clock in the morning on Friday, it's a 40 mile an hour tropical storm coming across Delmarva. And I think your landfall is probably somewhere between Cumberland and Northwest Cape May County. So we will obviously keep a very close eye on this throughout tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. If there are any uh, changes, we will obviously let you know. But I think we find ourselves in that northeast quadrant of the storm, meaning heavy rain, gust over 50 miles an hour, and a chance of tornadic activity with a lighter event up towards Philadelphia. A little over an inch, it's kind of like this little bubble area over Mays Landing. We had some storms, we had some showers there, but generally speaking, nowhere near as much as everybody else. You see the green in the sea of yellow and orange and red up to the north and west, that is where our flash flooding concerns were most uh, prominent. We are still trying to nail down exactly where that track is going to be because a shift of 25 or 50 miles is going to have a huge consequence on the forecast. If it's farther west, as some of our guidance is suggesting, we could see some areas in the northeast quadrant and that is where you get the worst rain and the worst wind and the potential for tornadic thunderstorms. So the timing of this is late Thursday into very early Friday, then it rapidly pulls away from our coast. I personally think the weather we've seen over the past couple of days, that is magnificent. That is exquisite. That is going to disappear for this afternoon and beyond really. I don't think we're going to see it again anytime soon, so you hope you took advantage of it. 54 degrees right now in Philadelphia, 59 in Atlantic City, 63 in New York City, 53 in State College. And these numbers are also going the way of the dinosaur for uh, a little while. I don't think we're going to be down to start the day off in the 50s for probably over a week. The model not picking up on all of that, so projecting forward this might be a little bit underdone. This is suggesting that this complex is going to go to the north and kind of fizzle out, which is possible because, again, we have those winds out of the southeast, and that is going to uh, kind of starve a lot of the energy from this. But still, I think you need to be on alert if you're in Salem and Gloucester and Camden, northwest Burlington County, I would say between, say, 730 and 830. So that's the window that we're watching in this area. You know, I sincerely wish that I could stand here and tell you that it was going to be a terrific Tuesday, but that would be an exaggeration, a stretching of the truth. And we don't want to do that, especially because there's a lot of folks out there just like me who are not a fan of the high heat and high humidity. We are going to see another scorcher of a day right here in our backyards. We'll get there in just a second. I'll get through all those details. But first, let's get you out the door. It's not that bad right now, but it is very, very muggy. We got a temperature of 78 degrees already in Hamilton, 78 in Vineland, 76 in Atlantic City. And you're noticing we have those winds out of the southwest supplying us with the ample level of moisture, a little cooler to the north where we have a few more clouds. Temperatures in the lower 70s up through North Jersey. You see the green that just exudes this sticky feel, right? A dew point of 73 in Hamilton. Atlantic City and Cape May, 74 in Vineland, and I expect these numbers to get probably in the mid and upper 70s this afternoon. Just look at our handy dandy key here. You can tell that 70s are oppressive, so I hope you are staying hydrated, staying in the shade as often as possible, and if you're like me, probably in your living room, sitting on the sofa watching Netflix with a nice tall glass of iced tea. That sounds fantastic, doesn't it? So the extreme heat is going to continue. Real field numbers over the century point, and not just today, but for Wednesday and Thursday as well. Then on top of that, we got the shower and thunderstorm chances. 
I think less of a chance than yesterday, but any thunderstorm that builds has the potential really to bring us just buckets and buckets of rain. We picked up over six inches of rain in Northwest Burlington County yesterday. So I'm not expecting the same type of thing, but the chance exists across the board. It's on the table. By the end of the week, it looks like we'll have a disruption to our pattern by later Saturday and early Sunday uh, cold front comes through, but that in and of itself could certainly bring us more showers and thunderstorms. So we will have to be uh, weather aware on that day as well. A few scattered showers and thunderstorms are possible this afternoon, but then they'll die down tonight. Tomorrow starts off very similar, partly to mostly sunny skies after maybe some patchy fog in the morning, and then an afternoon shower and storm threat will be with us. Same thing, guess what? on your Thursdays, though. It's just rinse and repeat weather. The beach, that's the place you want to be. 85 on the sand, 71 in the water, though that number is probably going to be coming down with some upwelling thanks to that south to southwest wind at 11 miles an hour. We have a low rip current risk, but always swim at the protected beaches. Tonight, ugh, it's not a night that you want to sleep with your windows open for sure. Partly cloudy skies, no issues in that department, but we're very sticky. And areas of fog are possible as our dew points and air temperatures kind of match up. They marry one another and you get that condensation and we don't have much in terms of a wind to churn up that air. Back in the lower 90s on your Wednesday, this takes us to our 7-day forecast and you will see relief coming our way by the weekend, but still unsettled.